my name is Katie Carson. I have forgotten all my words. <laughs> Too many acrobatics, not enough words. I'm the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps. Welcome to the final soap video in the Shipwrecked collection. As you can see, today we will be making a soap inspired by Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow, and general piracy. The soap I'm making today will be available today at RoyaltySoaps.com with the rest of the Shipwreck collection, including The Siren's Grotto, Stormy Seas, Paradise Island, Sunken Treasure, The Kraken, and of course, the Jack Sparrow soap today. We're about to make. I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's make some soap. I literally cannot wait to get started. I am going to have to be very careful with how I measure everything out for this because I want his beard, his face, and his little scarf to all be proportionally accurate. All right, time to blend. Okay, and now I'm going to pour off the scarf portion. And now we'll work with the beard first. So for this, I'm gonna make it dark brown because that's how it is in the movie. And to do that, I'll be using some dark brown oxide. And then for the fragrance, I think you guys are really going to like this. It's called Flowering Sage and Incense. It is a scent from Brambleberry. They released this with their Bohemian Blooms collection. It is one of the most unique smells I have have ever come across. It's a little bit earthy, it's a little bit sweet, and it's slightly floral, but mainly earthy. There's a lot of patchouli and sandalwood notes in there. If you guys have ever been to a renaissance fair, it highly, highly resembles the smells around there. I'm gonna start mixing first with my mini mixer just to see how this fragrance oil does. I don't think it's supposed to speed up trace or anything, but sometimes when you're unsure, this is a good way to check because it doesn't mix your batter very fast. Okay, I think it'll be okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up with my stick blender. And now to pour it in the molds. So I've turned the molds on the sides here so that I can be extra sure I'm putting the right amount into each container. I'm not putting too much in one and not enough in the other. Also, if I overshoot, sometimes I like to just go ahead and use a spoon to fix it. All right, and now that that's in, I'm gonna set it off to the side and allow it to set up before we move on to the next part. All right, it is time to take this fork because I've already done this side to check and make sure that it's thick enough and make a little scrappy looking beard. So I'm just going to pull this in and it doesn't really matter if it's 100% flat, which is why I just put that there. Just gonna pull this down the side. And it also doesn't really matter if like the lines are 100% perfect. It's really just to try to get a scrappy looking beard appearance. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and I'm gonna let this sit a little while while we mix up the face, even though that sounds really weird. For the face, we have some titanium dioxide and some 24 karat gold just to warm it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my fragrance oil. I went ahead and put some fragrance oil in the other containers I'm gonna pour on the top. Okay, and now I have to pour this very gently onto the top. I am hoping that it will discolor a little bit as it sits. It's supposed to, but if not, I may end up taking some of that titanium dioxide because Jack Sparrow is definitely not this pale. <laughs> And now it's time to mix up these final two layers. So for one portion, I have some Queen Catherine Mica. This is a very deep ruby red, or like a crimson actually. And then we have Trial by Fire, which is a very bright red. I'm hoping if I mix both of these together, it will end up looking like folds in the fabric. All right, let's put his little pirate scarf on. I think I can pour it straight on. Yes, super perfect. I'm gonna start there. We'll come over here. I think 
put a good majority of the rest of it on this side. All right, everything is in for the base. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I think it, it is definitely going to portray what I want it to. So let me go mix up the soap frosting. We'll come back and pipe the top. All right, time to start piping the top of the soap. I'm using a mix of dark brown oxide and regular brown oxide. Regular brown is kind of a ruddy red. Dark brown is what you saw me put in the soap already. It's sort of a deep chocolate brown. Again, I mixed them because I was trying to do some highlights, shadows, make it a little more realistic. It's also just a little bit more fun to look at. a little bit done I'm going to sprinkle some King Tut gold mica with some oil across the top and let that fall where it may I am trying to get it on the very edge of the soap so that you can see a good majority of it but we want some of that gold to start running towards the middle so it looks really pretty whenever we cut the bars too So now that all of the brown has been piped, I can go back in with the gold and put a ton on here. Just an absolute ton. While this is supposed to be Jack Sparrow's hair, he has a lot of pretty dangly bits that he has woven into his hair. So it's kind of like, I wanted to mix the idea of the pirate treasure and all of those little bits. Okay, awesome. So now I can start by putting one of the embeds on. So these are some pirate coins. We have some, some gold pirate coins here. I'll bring them up close so you can see them. They're very detailed. So I'm just going to stick those in about halfway. They absolutely look like real coins. We will definitely be using these again in the future. I don't know for what, uh, but they would work really good for like a treasure soap too. It's also nice that they're really thin because if you don't get it exactly perfect in the middle of your bar, it's not gonna matter that much. Okay, and now that I have the gold coins in, I can add some of the gold glitter. So this gold glitter is from The Good Glitter. You guys know I love The Good Glitter. I'm an affiliate of The Good Glitter. It's perfect. It has lots of different glitter sizes within the one package. So for this one, Shelly and I worked a really long time on it. A black pearl. We wanted this to look not pitch black. We still wanted to look kind of pearly. So we really had to <laughs> just, just play around with the melt and pour a little bit. And she ended up nailing it per usual as our Empress of Embeds always does. It also admittedly kind of looks like a cannonball, which is also very piratey. So I won't complain. As I'm making this, the soap feels very bookish to me. Does it feel bookish to you guys? I mean, originally inspired, of course, by Pirates of the Caribbean movie and also the ride at Disney World in Orlando. But yeah, now that I'm seeing it on here, it's kind of giving me some Treasure Island vibes. I'm honestly so excited about taking the pictures for this particular month. I think I'm gonna get some good props. By the way, in case you didn't know, just a little behind the scenes, I take all the photos for royalty soaps. And um, some of them, admittedly, I could do a lot better on. I am going to update almost all of them this year, especially for our more standard line. Yeah, I take all of those, and I've really tried to up the game in the last two or three months, so tell me what you think. I'm gonna spritz this with some rubbing alcohol. There's the soap, and I'm super pleased. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it so much. The glitter on top honestly pulls the whole thing together. So we will be back in 18 to 24 hours to split up these bars, take a peek at the inside. I'm really, really hoping that the uh, pirate, pirate face looks the way I want it to. Can't wait to see it uh, after this quick commercial break. Well guys, next time, no TD. <laughs> I think this fragrance oil actually ended up lightening up the soap, which is just bizarre. All right, so I've lined it up as best I can. I'm gonna press down gently 
And then we're gonna pull these bars out and hopefully <laughs> what I wanted to come across does. So let's see, moment of truth. Yes, <laughs> yes. His little face, his little hair, his little scarf. <laughs> I love it. I'm really, really pleased with this. That looks so good. And I love the, the swirling up here. It was definitely a good idea to add in both types of reds. And then for the brown, it's just this perfect. It's perfect. I, I couldn't want anything more from a Jack Sparrow bar. That is for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the making of today's soap. The question of the day is, have you seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? Ooh, and secondly, do you pronounce is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I don't even know how they say it on the commercial, but I don't know if it's just because I'm from Texas. Everyone has always said Caribbean where I live, but I'm sure it's Caribbean. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is very nice. <laughs> I also just, the smell is really, really good. If you know anybody that does like that kind of Renaissance smell, patchouli, sandalwood, incense, warm spices, this is the one for you. I also feel like this would be one a lot of you guys would request to bring back whenever we do our Royal Vault collection in January of 2022. So just, just throwing that out there. I think this might be one of them. <laughs> like and subscribe if you would like to uh, be here for next month's uh, creative soaps next month's collection is the secret soap series that's right most of the time we do it in september we're doing it again i'm very excited it's going to be very good and for those of y'all who haven't seen any of the secret soap series you can go look at all of my past videos i have them in a playlist essentially what we do is i don't tell you anything about the soap you have to guess the theme and then we unveil the theme at the end in a dedicated video. So it's a lot of fun. Everyone likes to get involved. I get some really good guesses and almost every single time, at least one person guesses all the soaps right, which is super, super fun. And then we will give away the entire collection at the end of that. So that's how that works. Have an absolutely amazing day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself, like going and watching Pirates of the Caribbean, or perhaps wearing a pearl necklace just to feel fancy and like you own a piece of treasure. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure to have an absolutely royal day and I'll see you guys soon. So until then, bye for now. Yee!